right. <clears throat> yo, yo, yo. Wonderful. We're at lesson five. So if you made it to this section, well done. Um, I've uh, only included uh, Nikon and, and Canon on this one, um, on this session, because um, yo, there are just too many other brands to incorporate with us. So we're just going to have a basic look at what all these modes mean and when you will use them and what they do. So um, manual mode, aperture priority, shutter speed, um, program mode, the automatic mode or green mode, which we refer to often. Uh, portrait mode, landscape mode, macro mode, sports mode, night mode, and flash off. So they are very much the same on uh, on all the different bodies, but uh, we just, for the sake of the purpose, going to focus on on the one manual manual mode. Um, you know, that's actually the real reason why I'm spending so much money on on a good camera or good gear, so that you can access the full uh, the full control of every setting on your camera. Um, it means that you have complete control of your ISO, your aperture, uh, your shutter speed, and more. So you can actually use manual mode to shoot anything. Um, later, later in, in the course, we're just going to be focusing on manual mode a little bit more when we start talking about flash and all of that. So um, this is definitely the mode that you need to spend the most time on and nail it down and get comfortable with. Um, a depth mode, so the automatic depth of field mode. This uh, this mode was intended to keep everything in focus in your scene. So um, it stands for automatic depth of field. Uh, in, the, in this mode, your camera will automatically select your aperture. Uh, remember that is the size of the opening in your lens, and then it will adjust the exposure time, which is your shutter speed. And um, you have little control over the ISO. Um, and ex exposure compensation and white balance. Very nice mode to, to use if you're going on holiday or whatever. So um, automatic depth of field is always a, a great choice, but still manual cries king. Um, AV mode, aperture priority modes, uh, one of my favorites mo favorite modes to, to use when I shoot um, in natural light. Um, so uh, this mode, you, you can adjust the aperture, uh, the, the size of the opening in the lens that we spoke about and uh, your camera will adjust the exposure time, the shutter speed and uh, you can actually then just set your ISO. So if you set your ISO, let's say on 400, the camera is going to compensate uh, everything else to make sure that you get a proper exposure. So maybe just something of note to mention here. Uh, the higher your ISO, obviously the more detail you're going to lose, but the quicker the shutter speed is going to be. So it's still going to be a bit of a balancing act just to get the right exposure. Uh, or the right type of shot that you want without noise or with a little bit of noise or whatever you want to do. So AV is uh, is very popular and a much loved um, much loved uh, mode to uh, to use. Um, program mode. Um, oh, we we jumped one. Doesn't matter. We'll go back to uh, uh, to shutter speed priority in a minute. Program mode. Um, Whenever you use this mode, the camera will automatically select both your aperture and your shutter speed. It's a little bit better, a better mode to use than automatic. It gives you a little bit more control. Um, very nice for shooting events and, and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so program mode also very popular, but still manual mode is going to cry king. Shutter speed priority mode is your TV mode. Um, I think on, um, on Nikon that's going to be S, your S mode. Um, in this mode, you set your sh you, you set your shutter speed. In, in other words, you set your exposure time, and uh, the camera will take control over the aperture size. Remember the size in the lens. Uh, it's great for situations where you are not really worried too much about the depth of field, how much of the background you want to blur out, um, you know, stuff like that. If you just want to grab the shot, it's perfect to get it done for you. Um, is a great mode to use when uh, when you do, when you do shoot video as well, um, because it will quickly adjust when uh, when the lighting condition changes and so on. So TV mode, very good mode to use. Automatic, green mode, lazy mode, whatever. Uh, just remember, you can use this as much as you like, but your photos are going to look exactly the same as everybody else. So you have no control um, over anything really. So uh, uh, 
you know, the worst thing is, uh, you know, you, you're busy at a, at a wedding or you arrive at a wedding and the photographer is using green to, uh, to do the shoot. <laughs> There's no control. So you can't, uh, you can't really change anything. Um, the camera is going to make all the choices for you. Portrait mode. Um, this, is, uh, this is one of the automatic modes on your camera. It's uh, intended for portrait photography. So um, uh, it will uh, definitely help you to gain a little bit depth of field. Um, so this mode, uh, what this mode actually do is or does is to set the widest aperture that your, that your lens allows and then adjust the exposure time uh, accordingly. Very little, uh, you've, you've got very little control over this. Uh, landscape mode, uh, so in contrast, uh, it's a little bit in contrast with the, with the portrait photography mode uh, because landscape photography benefits, um, it's going to give you a nice wide depth of field. So it means um, getting as much in focus as possible. So that's a great one to use. Also the color, I find that it also bumps up the color a little bit. Macro is just going to be used when you are shooting uh, little things like details, maybe a ring or an insect or uh, something, uh, you know, anything that's small. Sports mode, um, uh, well, you will definitely benefit from a faster shutter speed when you're using that mode. Uh, so basically anything that moves, uh, that is why the, uh, the, the icon will always be a person running or something like that. So you use it for that. And then night mode, um, the night mode is, is mostly intended for handheld night photography and, and stuff like that. Uh, although it's not recommended to shoot anything with a slow shutter speed without using a tripod or a monopod or so. Um, but um, the image on this dial is a silhouette um, of a person and a star. The mode is, uh, is also intended as an auto mode for night photography that's already set up for you on your camera. Um, and the camera, just, um, the camera adjusts the needed settings for the scene. So... Um, because night photography is more a little bit more of a specialized type of photography, um, I do not like using it at all. Once again, if I want to take photos at night, I'm going to use my manual mode. And, um, and then the flash off is just, um, you know, it's, it's a full auto mode, but it's going to prevent your flash from opening up.